Oh my god. It's the D-pad. Who let them in? Uh, I don't know. You clicked on the video. Oh no. I clicked on the video. No, th you. Not oh, you. Oh yeah. Sorry, not me. You. Yeah, you. You, 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 you. Thank you for that, by the way. I appreciate that. Uh, now I'm click on the bell. Yeah. To, to get notified every two to three hours for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that you could do granular settings for that, because I feel so bad where it's like, I cannot in good conscience suggest to anybody putting the bell on on our channel. We put out so many videos. True. That, like, it would just be... It's too much. It's too much for people to be getting told every single time. Uh, Can you get... Premiere push notifications without getting all notifications? Yes. Okay. Because I get push notifications about my own premieres. I think I have D-pad on paused subscribed. So I assume without the bell. So I assume that live notifications go to everybody regardless. Yeah. Uh, what do you got for me here? Vital throw. Okay. Did, did a decent amount. Nothing great. Not enough to be worried about. Vital Throw isn't the one that does your level. No, that is Seismic Toss. There we go. Which usually comes with iconography of the whole ass planet, for right. whatever reason. And doesn't do that much damage. Cause yeah. Like, level you damage. You have three times your level. Yeah, level, level, level damage has never been all that great, with the exception that it is unaffected by type effectiveness. That's like the one thing that level damage is actually really good for. Uh, same thing with constant damage attacks, though granted, there aren't many of those anyway, and the ones that exist are low as fuck. Uh, oh, the thing's up there, whoops. Like, there's a lot of, there's a handful of like 20 and 40 damage moves. And it's like, all right, well, after, after you're beyond the first like third of the game, that's really not enough to matter anymore. Right. Uh, early game, though, it can be great. Oh, yeah. No, those set damage have their place. Yeah. God damn. These fucking Sneasels are so fast. <laughs> Paralyze? Ah, bummer. It's not paralyzed, but it seems to be struck by me. Oof. That was a crit? Oh, no. I forgot. Ele uh, electric and water both resist steel, which is nice. That is nice. Wah. Like, I can I can sort of get a, a vibe for why water resists steel. Electric resisting steel seems just strange. Like, it almost feels... It feels like steel... I don't know, like... I feel like steel and electricity are not set up properly with one another. Like, I don't know. I don't think, like, steel should be, like, weak to electricity. But, like, I don't know. Make Steel is already overly defensive at yeah. this point. Like, it's really hard to balance steel properly because of shit like that. But it's like, I don't know. Make it so that, like, my brain would say, like, oh, steel should be, like, unaffected by electricity or have some other secondary effect that isn't resistance. Because it's not so much that, like... I get, or oh, rather, electric resists steel, so it's not even that in the first place. But right. Ah, so this is our this is this is gonna be our ship that we get to do once we've actually beaten the Elite Four. Is there nothing over there? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Lame. I'm gonna put this away now. Snowbound Town is always freezing cold, but the spirits of the trainers and their Pokemon burn hot and bright, especially the gym leader. Because all of their bodies are dead, and their yeah. spirits can burn hot and bright. <laughs> In hell. Well, first things first. Where's the po- Alright, that's the- I love that the gym is literally the first fucking thing you see. It's like, hello, this is a gym town. Yes, like, welcome eh. to this town. We have a gym. There's other stuff, Oh, also too. a Pokemon Center yeah. and Mart, and, and a building you can't go in. Sorry. Gaga Guawa! I'm a baby! <laughs> oh god, there's a person in there! I don't believe you, sir. <laughs> You're just a man in a Psyduck suit. <laughs> what? Go 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 I've got a headache. Go 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 oh my oh, head! Now I believe you. <laughs> yeah, that was the that was the part that convinced me. Uh, okay. They're healthy. Yep, that's always good. 
Let's walk around town, chat with folks. There's nothing here. That will make us unique. We suck. <laughs> we're, we're specifically a town with nothing. <laughs> the tourism is amazingly bad. There are like six NPCs that are not in the gym. Can I not? Oh, I can go in here. Good. Hyper potion. All right. And there's like three items that you can find in town. Anything, anything. All right. You. Oh, look, a house. Yeah. It's that's where everybody lives. Ah, uh, yeah. That's where the whole town lives. They, it's it's a uh, uh, Trevigen tuple. There's 23 people, and they all live in one house together. Yep. Uh, oh, I'm wearing warm wet. I'm wearing warm stuff. You get fire that's stickers hilarious. because you're wearing appropriate clothing for the snow. Yeah, that's legitimately kind of funny. I like that. What's in here? Just 40 beds. Yeah. Oh, oh right. no beds. Do you know a trendy saying? Illumination, electrode, brilliant, shining. I mean, brilliant and shining feels silly because brilliant diamond, shining pearl. Right. Let's say brilliant for... You read my mind. So... I think, yeah, yeah this is this is the... This just affects something on the TV yeah. a couple of clicks through later. I'll do electrode, and then we'll forget about it, and maybe we'll look at a TV later. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, cause it used to be you'd get like a whole menu of like stuff when you got interviewed. Yep. And they apparently decided that that was too annoying to code, I guess. Well, that guy isn't doing the like full interview where yeah. he's asking you for the three different things. That's the like news reporter does yes. that. Yes, yeah. Oh, Torchic. That's Tor actually Torchic. very surprising to see here. Okay, so you have a Pokemon called Metacham. Trade for a Haunter. I remembered, by the way, why Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee we allowed for trading. Because we didn't allow for trading. We allowed for gift Pokemon, which were given to you if you if you fulfilled certain conditions. Right. So it's like, oh, if you catch five Growlithes, I'll give you this Persian. And I'm like, oh, all right. Or Interesting. If you, or you give me five Meowths, I'll gift you this Arcanine. Those right, we allowed. They had to because they did not, they treated them like gifts and not like traded Pokemon. Right, and it goes with the like go style of play where you catch and catch and catch and catch and catch. Exactly, and like no no uh, experience benefits or anything. So it was like, okay, these are just regular Pokemon, so we'll treat them like gifts. You're going to the Snowpoint Temple. You know you're not allowed to go in. Yeah, but I'm a I'm a big kid. They'll let me in. Oh, guess who hasn't been here yet? Interesting. Yeah, you're right. Oh well, that makes sense because he's he's busy right now. He's he's at the actual lake. Yeah, he's trapped behind some people getting challenged by a lieutenant. Yeah. Uh, all right. She says I have to start by making friends with Pokemon. All right. If you want to learn about Pokemon, you got to start by making friends with Pokemon. Be best friends with your Pokemon. I know it's the same size as all the other marts, but it looks so dinky right there. <laughs> Just off on its own next to a tree. Yeah. I'm using a technical machine to taste most of the Pokemon. I'm trying for different mixes of moves with different types. Then you leave four of the Pokemon and leave are way tougher than any gym leader. Oh, yeah. You said it, youngster. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to dealing with Cynthia. We had a buy. Actually, She's a murderer. Let's sell first. Cynthia is a murderer. Yeah, Cynthia. Cynthia is maybe the most infamous uh, run-ending fight in like all of Nuzlocke's. Yeah, I said she she made my Nuzlocke end. Well, I guess in a, let's sell these. End in a loss. One fight away from it being a oh, success. That so blows. Uh. Could sell some balls I don't like, but I don't think they're gonna like they they don't go for enough to matter really. Uh, these which I'm barely ever gonna touch. It's hilarious I got like one of each basically. I guess I don't have X special attack, but this is guard spec prevents stat reduction. Oh, okay, got berries even more less worth selling. I was debating throwing a uh, paralysis healing berry onto Natalie. Yep. And, uh, for the for the face off, we will see. I don't I don't know. Um, we got to do that before the gym fight. Yes, right? before the before the final gym fight. Yes, uh, boost the matter of ground type moves. I uh, I could hypothetically put that on uh, George dude, but I like the idea of him maybe being able to just quick claw into an extra attack in general. Yeah, especially since he generally only stays out there for two or three moves. Um, 
Oh, Metronome can also be super mean. I think Metronome actually does work with stuff like Echoed Voice and Rollout, where they already get stronger with each attack. Yeah. This just, like, magnifies the, the effect of that. Rude. Yeah. Uh, just checking all of these. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Spooky plate. Yeah, fighting dragon ghost, psychic. Yeah, I think. Uh, all right, these I actually will probably just use. Um, magnet iron ball makes you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is such. Iron Ball is so weird. There there are a few specific applications that really make sense, but most of them are just like, why? Why would you do that? Right. Okay, so we got some other item things to use. Uh, here we go. The stuff that is just to be sold. Stardust. Tiny Mushroom. And Nugget. And nugget. Uh, you also have uh, your... Did you sell the Max Revive? I did, yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay, cool. So, what can we buy in this tiny little town? Just the usual Balls, shit. Balls, potions. I will buy a hundred revives, please. Uh, let's see. How many? Oh, I've got seven ice heals. I only had four full heals, and I know I've got full restores. And I'm like, maybe I buy some just in case since it's an ice gem. But yeah, no, we'll be fine. Yeah. Um, we have a shitload of mumu milk, so I'm not too worried about. This stuff, since Moomoo Milk does 100 hit points, so that'll be fine. Uh, we're good on balls as well. We got plenty, so not a lot really happening there. I could fly back to the department store. Yes, that would be where you could spend some cash. Yeah, and I think I may, in fact, do that. However, where's my dude at right now? 45. Yeah. He's got some levels to go. Um, I'm going second, so I'm going to take advantage of that uh, and actually do that stuff. And also, I have the egg out, uh, so I may as well... Get some running back and forth going. Yeah, whoops. Actually, my brain is on old Pokemon so hard. I was like, oh, I should uh, check Natalie so I can fly. Natalie doesn't even have fly. Come on, there we go. Now the department You can also just store. do that one from the map. Oh, can you just do it from the map? Ah, oh, goddammit. Uh... Uh, top right. Ah, uh, yes, it is Veilstone. All right, cool. Huzzah! <laughs> A star raptor came and clawed your face apart. Oh, no. All right, let's do this. Department store. This is... Is this a department store? Am I dumb? No, this is right. Okay. Can you... There we go. Uh, I'm here to buy. What do you have? Whoop. I mean, this looks like the basic, you know, standard set of stuff. It's the basic shop. With, with it a has Poke a Poke doll, which is uh, the only unique bit of that. And Potions, there's the other half heals, of the regular you know. shop stuff. And I think the ones over here don't actually sell anything. Yeah, they're Welcome just, to the fabulous Veilstone department yeah, store. These guys are greeters, not clerks. All right. Just verifying that is the case here, too. What's recommended? recommended? Sure. All right, top one. All right, we Next have all things. of our battle battle items. And you. So X items are actually pretty cheap. Hoo hoo hoo. Those are expensive. They are expensive, but I have I have enough for like a dozen of them. So right, I'm not. Well, you should uh, be strategic about yes about your uh, effort value pumping on yeah. Lucky. Like, what do you want? What's your goals? Lucky, that's basically your only dude who yeah. can use those. That's true. Yeah, everyone else has already is already uh, been there for too up. long, or is in an egg still. Yes, that'd be kind of a funny thing to do. That as soon as it's born, just shove a bunch of like stuff into it for the sake of of maximum maximum and and specifically designed yeah effort values. That's a thing. It's a thing people do. All right, so two sets of TM counters. Uh, I wish that there were that I had options besides flamethrower and fire blast for fire type moves here, because that would make life a little easier as far as some of the stuff coming in the, up in the gym. Yeah. Um, I guess let's start from the top here. Not doing fire blast. I don't want to mess with that. I forget if sunny day makes fire blast always hit or not. Oh no, that solar beam takes one less turn to charge. 
Uh, thunder. Thunder is fun. If it is raining, then Thunder actually has 100% accuracy. Interesting. So that can be really useful if you set up uh, some rain first. Right. Blizzard. All right, and then we have Focus Blast. I mean, the way that that's most useful is if you have a Pokemon whose ability is rainy day or whatever. Yes, yeah. That would definitely be useful for that for sure. Um, I forget... You know, I mean, I have plenty of money. I don't mind buying one just to see more details about it. Um, flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. I have one on Pippa. I don't really want one on anyone else because of what we currently have going on. Right. Um, if anything, I should also strategize around, like, dealing with John's more pain-in-the-ass Pokemon. Like, his starter, for example, can wreck a bunch of my dudes. Yes. So having some, like, water moves would definitely assist with some of that. A psychic wouldn't. A psychic and fairy wouldn't hurt either, to be honest. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and just grab that. It's not oh. like a killer move, and I don't even know if anyone else can use it, but it's nice to have. Dazzling gleam, on the other hand, I guess it's not like it's not moon blast, right? Moon blast is like the legit big fairy move. Sure, dazzling gleam is bread and butter, though. Yeah, uh, gyro ball is also kind of nice. I think it's what speed based. Yeah, speed based. So if I have. Uh, like, for example, Gyro Ball on George Dude could actually be pretty fucking good. Because he is slow. And he is definitely slower than anything that John's going to throw out. Sure. Uh, Giga Impact uh, requires cooldown. Hyper Beam requires, requires cooldown, so those are out. Um, here to buy. Low Sweep. Bulldoze. I don't have Bulldoze right now. I guess it's a lower... It's less good than Earthquake, but doesn't hurt to have a copy in my bag. False Swipe would be good for catching Pokemon, but I don't think I really care enough for that right now. You have very few, like, roots left. Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought Rest only did half. Rest is full? Yeah. But leaves you asleep. And, I'm gonna go ahead. It does. It, I'm go like ahead and resto buy. chesto is why it is so good because yeah. of that. I'm gonna buy two of those just in case I do use some. Uh, protect. I mean, if I if I could poison his Pokemon, protect would be a great troll move. But I don't have a whole lot of po like cross poison. I think is the only thing that I have that will just do progressive damage. Yeah. If it if it poisons. Um, safeguard protects against status conditions. Reflect reduces damage from physical. Light screen is special. Substitute Substitute isn't the worst, but it does reduce your actual hit points, so it's not like I could put that on George Dude and have it actually like be a super useful thing there. Right, because that just takes away your ability to have sturdy proc. Yeah. Uh, work up Swords Dance. Swords Dance could actually be kind of useful, and I'm actually a little amazed that it's this cheap. Uh, double Team. Oh, Double Team could also be slightly... Hello, Moto. <laughs> Double team could actually be kind of useful in, in, a, in a pinch just for making stuff harder to do. Same with Flash, especially the put together. All right. Let's keep going upstairs. Let's check in with other stuff, and then we'll actually do some TM application. Um, oh, That's this is for, for the underground, yeah. for your base. Have you even set up your base? I don't even know if I have, to be honest. Okay. Cool. All right, up we go. I think it's the top floor. It is top floor. Can I even buy anything here? What is even the point of this floor? The vending machines? I guess, but aren't there... V oh, yeah, this. I forgot about this. Uh, two buff guys standing side by side. That's all. Yep, just two buff guys. We're just hanging out. We're definitely not stuck together. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Goodbye. Those, those vending machines have water and lemonade and... I thought there were vending machines downstairs, too. I don't think so. All right. Granted, I have fucking 40 Moo Moo Milks, and they are better for their for their price than right. anything else in the game. And all I have to do is go back to fucking Psyduck Crossing to... Uh, do, do the vending machines even occasionally proc dropping an extra thing anymore? Because like, oh, that was the only know. thing that was nice about that. It was like sometimes you're buying lemonades and an extra can pops out. I do not recall. But you got to buy them one by one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's slow. It's not good visual it's content. It's Did I talk to this one? Oh, yeah, that was the one that had that. So, um, 
Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. What? Let me take a look at Lucky's stats real quick. Also, Lucky's a high enough level that I probably also can't do anything with uh, them, so... Oh, you can find out real quick. You have some items already. That's true. Let me take a look at your stats. Defense is not great uh, on either end. Speed is actually also not great either. Becomes competitive, deals more damage to Pokemon of the same gender, but deals less to Pokemon of the opposite gender. I gotta pay attention to that, too. Right. Uh, so that is unfortunate for you because John's uh, got a sausage party. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. All of his all of his uh, dudes are dudes. Uh, where the fuck is the... They're mixed up with the, like, held item type stuff. The other items pocket, yeah. Uh, and yay. Not, I guess you could sort. There's a sort button. Oh, that's true, that's true. It's annoying that, like, easiest way for me to figure this out is by using it. Well, you know what? Defense yeah. would be nice. Use, Try and use iron on Lucky. Yep. Okay. Still got room. Uh, HP up wouldn't be bad as well. Well, all right. No, let's not use HP up. Let's, uh... It's really, it's really like, defense and special defense are, like, the two big ones. Yeah. Yes, Jeffrey. Okay, uh, yeah, I've been here. <laughs> I've been here for a little while, and I figured I'd come in before the next episode. But yeah, I'll, this is dragging a little bit, especially in this like. Gener I, Hi, everyone. By the way, yeah, I was kind of uh, waiting for you to like to jump in, and then I was like, oh, yeah. he's gonna he's gonna hang back. I for a saw minute, it was then. close to the end of the episode, and I was getting myself settled and things. Um, yeah, um, HP up is most useful on big, thick, tanky yeah. Pokemon. Like you might be tempted to give a couple more HP to a Pokemon that has like very low amounts of HP yeah. and something like but that. But if it's going to get one hit by something, it's going to get hit exactly. one hit by something. Exactly. If you're playing against a person who will be looking for super In effective fact. hits, then it is unlikely. Ah, oh, boo. Yeah, it might be topped out. Pippa wouldn't be a bad option. Same with Natalie. Only there's, Lucky is not topped out. I was going to say there's, the only there's no option. chance that Oh, that really? Pippa they're all isn't they're already. all full otherwise. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, max effort value comes pretty quickly. How many total EVs can you have? Is it 255 or I think it's 255. That sounds right. 510. Um, yeah, I suppose we are at the point where you know, your Pokémon are level 50, which is like the the Oop. median oh, through which fine. everything is, you know, measured. Right. So you're going to have 510 total EVs and you get one from each fight with a first tier Pokemon and two from each fight with a second tier Pokemon and I forget if it's three or four from third evolution. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah, it looks great. Right, well now you're almost at level 50 the effort values really show up better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, definitely. Since you haven't been training Lucky throughout the whole game and, and caught them, I think, at like, what, 20-something? Uh, no, I caught it as a Shinx. I just haven't used it in a long time. Oh, okay. The real thing. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. He's subbed in because of a loss on yeah. the team. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Are you just uh, walking around with egg for the moment to... Uh, yeah, try to hatch it. Yep. Um, do you know what's in it? I do not know what's in it. Okay. I do. Well, yeah, mm. same, but... <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm so excited for Rick to open up his egg and find the oh Magikarp. My, my hope is a Riolu. <laughs> I suppose it could also... Uh, it's a shiny Magikarp. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Spoilers. It. Well, it'll be a shiny. It doesn't count, count, though. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. It's not part of the... It's not the shiny clause Magikarp. It's Fuck. It's a special one. That's the egg clause. Fuck Rick. Oh, uh, man. Addendum. It's made of fool's gold. Yeah. It's a ma uh, Magikarp pyrite. <laughs> they, they specifically allowed it to be more than 12 letters just for this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, Luxray kicks ass. Also, by the way, like I, you generally, yeah. So my issue right now has been stats, but so uh, yes, Rick, you got them rare candies. Earlier, we were talking about the possibility of hatching too. something and then immediately maxing out its EVs. Yeah, it would cost you um, five hundred thousand Poke <laughs> dollars. Gotcha. Yeah. So, so that plan is probably not real. Um, so doable. Hypothetically, yeah. I mean, okay. I'm coming into this a little bit late. Is uh, where are are you like posturing before the next battle, I'm or doing are a, you just doing a rethink now after the last battle? I don't know how many. So episodes the only have happened. stuff that's left for Rick to do right now is the gym. Yeah, the Snowpoint gym is the okay. Next thing. Oh, oh, and, uh, you're in Snow and Point. some gotcha. grinding yeah. to get lucky to a get few more levels. E exactly, because yeah. he's still lagging behind a little bit, and that was really killer in the last face off. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Um, I have five rare candies. I could just use them, but also there's the question of, like, do I want to hold off until later since the... I guess it's so, going to take a long fucking time to grind up five levels correct. right now. Rare candies are useful the later you go. Yeah. And they're not useful for catching Pokemon Oops. up that are super low. Because the amount of XP you get from, like, five to six yeah. is, like, a hundred times less than needed from 49 to 50 sort of yeah. thing. So, so I, I definitely get the 1,400 XP. I was going to say, I'm going to level it up once oh, first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make sure you hit the candies. level as clean as possible. Yeah, because it just gets you to the next level. Yeah. It doesn't do a level's worth of, of e EXP. Exactly, yeah. So as long as you are, like, not going to overlevel the rest of your bros, then... It doesn't so really matter. For the face-off, it doesn't matter. Yeah, at this point, oh, level 50, it's auto flattening to 50? Yeah. Okay. You guys aren't doing unlimited battles? Come on now. Uh, we didn't realize at the time we we fucked up, because, like... It's fine. It's it's honestly not the worst thing, and it kind of makes things slightly more interesting, because some Pokemon by level 100 are so insane Yeah. that, like, it doesn't matter what you have. They can... Well, granted, you won't get, you won't get to 100, but... 